வெல்கம் டு ஒன் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் மினிட் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி சீரீஸ் குயிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் இன் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹீட் ஆஃப் ஹைட்ரஜினேஷன் பேசிக்கலி இட் இஸ் த ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் ஆல்கின் At first, let us see what is heat of hydrogenation. In double bonds you are adding the hydrogen. You have saturation which is alkane formation. Here the heat change during the hydrogenation is called heat of hydrogenation. Here heat of hydrogenation can be related to the stability. So, the more stable the double bond, less heat of hydrogenation. Basically, heat of hydrogenation is a real measure of stability of double bonds. The first fact here is more alpha hydrogen. always leads to more stability so less heat of hydrogenation here i given the four compounds pqrs if you look at it the first compound has 10 alpha hydrogen second one has 7 next one is 4 the last one is 2 so more alpha hydrogen more stability due to hyper conjugation less heat of hydrogenation next fact here is heat of hydrogenation of cis and trans trans has low heat of hydrogen than cis because trans alkene is more stable because of less steric form less steric mean there is no crowding of methyl group so it is more stable and low heat of hydrogenation the next is cis form cis form methyl groups are very steric so less stable more heat of hydrogenation then the next fact is more conjugation mean less heat of hydrogenation because conjugation provides the stability so it decreases the heat of hydrogenation If you look at the common PQR, P is no conjugation, less stable, high heat of hydrogenation. If you look at the Q, conjugation rises, so relatively stable than P and low heat of hydrogenation. If you look at the R, it benzene. Everybody knows resonance provides delocalization, more stable and less heat of hydrogenation. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching.